Hey guys, we got an exciting new online tournament format. It's hosted by Mystery Tackle Box and the Hooked Up Network. And it's going to be between me and five of the other top YouTube fishing channels. And we're going to fish it in a tournament style format where we only use the lures that are out of this box. And we can catch our biggest fish per lure. And then we're going to measure them with this scale and use the length. So our longest length fish for each lure. So let's see what we have to fish with in the box this month. Alright, we have a River to Sea Spit and Wah. I've used these frogs before. It's the popping version frog. So you can fish it in open water or you can fish it up in the grass like a normal frog. So it's pretty versatile. We've got a live wire white buzzbait. 3 8 ounce. Some tough bait salt infused worms. Some fish hog worms. Some floating Charlie worms. And it looks like some hooks. So that's a pretty good variety. We've got three different types of worms. I'll probably use that on a drop shot rig. And then Texas rig these other two style worms. And then I'll fish the frog early mornings or late afternoons. And then I'll swap over to the buzz bait if we get some high winds like there is right now. I'll probably use that buzz bait some. Or if we get some raining conditions, I'll use that. And uh, we'll go into techniques a little bit more as I start fishing with these. Um, but the winner of the tournament um, gets to donate $500 to a charity of his choice. So it's for a good cause. So we'll get, get rigged up and start fishing. And you can also click on the link in the description and it'll give you more information on the tournament rules. And also there's a leaderboard. You can see how I'm doing compared to the other five guys. So check it out. Got him on the white buzz bait, barely had him hooked too. I'm glad I had that trailer hook on it. That's a nice one. We'll say right at 24 inches. That's a nice one. Man, that was a nice fish on the top water lure. Got a little bit of wind out here, a little bit overcast. That's when you want to throw a buzz bait. Good way to start it. Just a little quick follow up here about the conditions. Um, I'm throwing that buzz bait. It's still hot, you know, still 90 degrees here. So the fish are still kind of moving in and out of zones. This one area is about five feet deep here. There's a lot of wood around, but it's the perfect conditions with a decent wind. You got some thunder clouds up above. So that's when you want to pull out those buzz baits. And as you can see, I put that trailer hook on it. And that's one of the reasons I got him. Thank you. 
All right, that's a nice one on the tough bait. Worm, I had it Texas rigged. Let's see what this fish is gonna go. All right, we're gonna let her go. Just a little bit more about this technique. I was just Texas rigging these tough bait worms. And as you can see here, this one's all torn up. I've already caught several one pound, one and a half pound fish on it. And it was my last one. So I kept having to bite the top off and rehook it and then finally got that one. Look at there. River to sea spitting wah. Almost identical to the last one I caught. Man, that's fun though. Doesn't get much better than frog fishing. Let's see what it measures. He's right there on the line. 21 inches, same as the other. That's a nice one. Identical fish. All right, guys, a little bit more on this frogging technique. The wind's blowing about 15 miles an hour right here, so I couldn't really fish it out in the open water, and fish can't really see it whenever it's that choppy. So I got back here in this grass, and you can still see that grass knocks down the wind a pretty good bit. And uh, I'm just using braided line, and uh, I really needed that braid there to get that fish out of the grass. But we got it, 21 inches. It was a nice start to the morning. I was fishing it weightless, just throwing it up there and letting it sink right off that grass. Let's see how long this one is. We'll call it 17 inches. Just a touch over 17. That's a nice one. I'm gonna let her go. A little bit more about this technique. It's something I used to do growing up. Just uh, just rig this worm up without a weight on it. Just with a three aught hook. And you can throw it up in there on the banks. And it's got that chartreuse tail, so here right at daylight, it'll kind of glow a little bit. But um, it's weedless, so you can, you, you can throw it up in there, pull it off the grass, and then also it doesn't make a lot of splash, so you don't really disrupt the fish in shallow water. So it's a good technique.
13 inches. It's a little squirt. Well guys, that wraps it up. I was able to catch something on every lure in the box. Uh, it was a good challenge. I had to use a variety of techniques. Uh, if you want to see how I did against the other guys, you can click on this link and it'll take you to the scoreboard. And we'll see you next month.